Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Okay, where do we start? Let's start off with your energy. We have Queen of Wands, the Sun, High Priestess, Ace of Wands. So you are embodying the Leo energy when you around the time you meet your person for the first time. Because we also have Six of Wands, which is Jupiter in Leo. Um, some of you can be entrepreneurs. Um, you've started your own business. You're working on some sort of creative project, right? Leos can be our artists, actors, performers. So some of you may be literally doing something where you are at the center of attention. Uh, but regardless of what you do, right, it's a favorable period for you. You're feeling good about yourself. Yeah, around the time you meet your person, you will be getting a lot of attention, people naturally gravitating towards you, perhaps a lot of invitations to social gatherings, um, parties. I see you being sort of a social butterfly here. Some of you also may be a tarot readers yourself with High Priestess, or you may be um, going through some sort of spiritual growth, or you may be very interested in more, you know, occult topics here is what I'm getting. But yeah, you're really feeling yourself and I see you being the center of attention. So it'll sort of be you versus them, I see. So we'll keep going back and forth. Your person's energy, they're in a bit of an opposite energy from you when you meet. We have Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. Um, not only do we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords in their energy. Yeah, this person has their struggles. They're going through a difficult time, uh, almost still finding themselves. And I was getting that throughout their energy and in their oracle cards, so I did want to dig uh, deeper and see what this is uh, stemming from. And I did get the Hermit and Two of Swords from a different deck. So I'm getting a bit of a lost soul here. Um, someone who's lacking direction or they're having a hard time making a decision, right? Um, and the Hermit for me also can be a card of self-worth. Right? So there is some insecurities here, which the other oracle cards confirm. But sixth house is also our work, uh, fin finances, it can be our health. So these are the areas they're sort of struggling with. It can be mental health with the two of swords. There is a lot of chaos confusion in their mind, right? So it may also be a period where they are, they are spending a lot of time alone. Um, they're in isolation, which is interesting, right? Because your energy was, you're going out, you're doing things, and this person sort of minding their own business, self-reflection coming through, which is needed, right? Because they are feeling a bit lost. So definitely a lot of sleepless nights, right? Overthinking and not feeling the best about themselves. It's a little sad. I almost want to give your future person a hug because this is very challenging energy. I can feel it. How you'll be feeling when you meet them for the first time. We have six of wands, seven of cups. Right away, um, how you'll meet, we have king of pentacles. How and where you may meet or see them for the first time. We have king of pentacles and the world. Uh, world and seven of cups can definitely be internet, worldwide web right social media coming through um, specifically online right because we have all these cups and you can choose right which one you want so definitely you may have options around the time you meet but also what is standing out to me with the king of pentacles and world is specifically you you're celebrating here um, some major accomplishment when you meet this person for example it can be a promotion um, a graduation but you've completed some sort of cycle here. Those of you online dating, yes, there can be some uh, travel involved here with the world. I definitely see that. And others of you, it can be uh, a little bit of the opposites attract. I'm, I am seeing your energies are opposite from one another when you meet, but there may be some uh, cultural race difference or there is something that stands out here between the both of you. It definitely can be an age difference here as well. We're more so getting something to do with your backgrounds here. For some of you, keep in mind it's a general reading. So how you'll be feeling, yeah, it's sort of mirroring your energy up here. Quite confident. Um, you're in some sort of group setting, 
the first time you meet them um, in person. So this can be going out for drinks, right? Because it does look like a bar here and you're choosing a drink, but there's definitely other people around you. There's sort of a lighthearted celebration type of energy. It's a party is what I'm getting or some sort of restaurant bar. That's what I'm getting. How they'll be feeling, we have 10 of swords, three of cups. Yeah, those of you that, you know, you run into this person unexpectedly, it's sort of not telling us exactly how you'll meet, right? It was more so highlighting something, some major accomplishment here in your life. But you could definitely be out celebrating, say you graduating from school, you go out with family, friends, and you meet this person, right? I'm definitely getting that. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, this person is, they're still hurt with whatever is going on, but, you know, maybe a friend or family member sort of drags them out, right, with the Three of Cups, you know, um, let's go out, maybe you'll feel better, um, or they even could be exploring their options with the Three of Cups, right, uh, where they, they say they meet you online or something, and then you plan on seeing each other, I definitely see that. And they're not feeling their their best, but it's sort of let's let's distract myself, right? It's the energy I'm getting. So they're wearing a bit of a mask, which I'll get to here. The mutual energy between the both of you, we have Hierophant and Six of Cups. Yeah, I see the black hair and the blonde hair again. That opposite energy I was getting. It can be, it doesn't have to be different culture or race, it just may be that you look very different from one another. Um, with the Six of Cups, yeah, there's a caring uh, soulmate bond here. You'll both feel it. It's very sweet. This one may help you with something or offer you something, especially if they're working, right, and you go into their place of work, um, say a bar. They could be a bartender for some of you, because I see him handing her the flowers but this person, if it's your first date, is how you meet. They could be bringing you flowers as well, right? But they'll be generous with you is what I'm getting. It's almost two peas in a pod. That's the vibe I'm getting with Hierophant and Six of Cups. Uh, you're, how you'll approach them. We have the Lovers, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, Gemini energy coming through. Um, communication. You are a bit guarded and <laughs> defensive, right? I don't think, you know, sometimes you meet someone and you, there is that special connection here, but you're not really aware that this is the person you'll end up with. So it's not that instant knowing like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life. No, I don't see that. It's more so, um, I feel a connection. Let's see where this goes, right? Um, Knight of Wands, there's a lot of uh, passion here. Some of you may also be traveling around the time you meet them. You take some time off of work. I was definitely seeing that with your oracle cards, right? Careful, you're not foolish by any means, which is interesting because how this person is viewing you, we have page of wands fool. It's a bit of a reckless energy sometimes, but carefree, right? I'm ready to take that leap, ready for a new adventure, uh, quite flirtatious with all these wands coming through. Playful is how your person will be seeing you, but not someone who's too serious. I don't think you will be very serious about each other. You may be this person sort of not ready, right? So it will start off as friends first, but great banter, uh, very fun conversation with Gemini coming through. Really a lot of laughter, which I actually have at the bottom of this deck. Yeah. It's almost a carnival or fair setting here, if we look at this depiction, but definitely some social gathering here. How they'll approach you, we have Emperor, Five of Wands, the Chariot, Queen of Cups. Uh, you'll get a mixed bag here. Um, they won't know what to do with themselves when they meet you, right? Emperor is more rigid, trying to control their reactions, their emotions. Queen of Cups is sort of wanting to... Um, can be someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. It's the opposite energy from Emperor. And if we look at Chariot, this character seems to be torn as well, right? This way or that way. Five of Wands and Chariot is internal conflict, right? I was telling you this person's meeting you at some sort of gathering. So if there's distance between you, Pisces, I see them traveling towards you with Chariot because I'm seeing a lot of movement in their energy. But they're, there's, they don't know how to approach the situation. So 
you may get a little bit of emotion and then they'll pull back quickly right not wanting to reveal too much about themselves with the emperor but it'll be a constant battle throughout that seems to be a night to evening meeting you'll have a hard time reading them they're sort of all over the place which is why you're viewing them as the wheel of fortune two of wands yeah you you may see them as a bit unstable or unpredictable when you meet them right you never know what side of them you will get um, they can be inconsistent i'm getting initially because of what they were going through with the nine of swords right so days they're not feeling the best about themselves they may pull back and sort of shut out from, right shut out from the world um that's the sort of the vibe i'm getting so mixed sort of push me pull me attitude there may be also they may have moved um, right when you meet them or there's some drastic changes going on which they'll tell you about with the two of wands wheel of fortune right they're they were indecisive here and i was telling you about that their mind all over the place with the nine of swords so yeah they're sort of mentally unstable is what i'm getting but they have a decision to make and they're having a hard time right listening to their intuition they don't know what way to go they're lost that's what i'm getting pisces over and over again that's why i keep repeating myself but this is your energy look at that queen of pentacles three of pentacles eight of wands so you are very busy around the time you meet your person a lot of projects up in the air you're here and you're there and you're everywhere right you're needing a break a very hard working period for you finances will be doing very well pisces when you meet your person okay now let's do a you versus them with the oracle cards i'm very excited we have cleansing body and spirit yeah that's beautiful so yeah you're busy i was telling you about the projects so you're sort of uh taking a break here seems to be uh i don't see you at work i mean king of pentacles for where and how you meet can be finances and work but a lot of your energy is indicating this is it's more of a light-hearted some group setting i don't know we have fun plan on having some fun soon yeah exactly with sun right that can also be dating but it can just be uh, meeting up with friends some sort of celebration let's look at this we have number nine the dining table a date a social gathering nourishment this is interesting with her taking a bath nourishment and then we have a date social gathering for definitely those of you you meet this person online um this will be your first date right you'll meet up for drinks a dinner is what i'm getting but some sort of group setting is coming through and others of you you're not into that online it's just a social gathering is what i'm getting is how you'll meet them september may be significant or the number nine and we have 42 or six we have going off grid unplugging disappearing for a while this is interesting with the bath and disappearing for a while disappearing for a while is this is a sort of on your time off um you're sort of taking a break from all the responsibilities you have right with plan on having some fun soon um you're doing something to unwind relax here right some of you could be sorry um this is a general reading i'm just getting scenarios you know you may be dating around you know putting yourself out there but you're not really it's just for fun like you don't have any set outcome in mind that is coming through to sort of divert your attention from your work because it, it's almost a bit of a workaholic energy coming through but also at this gathering it could be just the two of you right when you meet it's it's almost everything around you disappears you know it was a group setting that is confirmed regardless of how you meet it is a group setting there's other people around you when you see each other but yeah it's almost the world everything sort of disappears and all you can see is this person right that is the energy i'm getting and some of you literally if it's a party or something with family friends you may uh sort of break away from those around you and uh, it's just the two of you i definitely see that great conversation with gemini coming through right so definitely 
Um, let's look at this. We have mistake. <laughs> Um, so there may be something, your intuition may be telling you, oh, I'm not sure, and this person may be a player, right? The Queen of Swords does have her sword raised here, and the Knight of Wands is coming towards her from the side, right? So definitely, if we look at the imagery, you may feel, oh, what does this person want? Um, they were, they're not ready for anything serious when you meet, so it can be, you know, I don't want to waste my time with um, these immature energies, because it's Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. So there may be that difference. It's Keep in mind, this is the first meeting, so there's some red flags here. Maybe I should avoid this, right? The attraction is there. I feel the pull, but is there anything that we can build here long-term, right? That's what I'm getting. And we have joy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised with laughter, joy, six of cups. Definitely, there's affection here. And we have come hither. This is such a funny card, uh, Pisces, if we look at it. <laughs> with the, If we look at the Queen of Wands, she's also wearing that red dress, but she's almost like seducing him, right? Sort of teasing him, like, come to me. And we have the cat looking up to her. So you may want this person to pursue you or chase you, but you're very aware of how attractive you are. And you'll see that this person is very attracted to you, but I do see a little bit of teasing here. Like, also the vibe, look but don't touch with the Queen of Swords, I'm getting that as well, right? Because there is that distance between the two, and he's reaching out to her, <laughs> it's very cute. We have drama. Can we let it go and move past this? So this is saying, some of you may know this person because it is a general reading but for a lot of you you don't you haven't met them yet but drama can we let it go and move past this and we have breakthrough something has shifted everything now seems to make perfect sense there's other energies involved with the drama i was seeing people here i was seeing people in your energy and this person's sort of keeping their options open and perhaps you were as well um, this person's not quite ready to settle down or commit to anything right away. So I think that drama may be that. And the mixed messages, that can be extremely frustrating, right? Because with Breakthrough, it's almost that Ace of Swords energy. Can you just tell me where I stand with you? Like, do I have to guess? That's sort of the energy. Um, so it will be a bit of a rough start if I were to be honest, Pisces. Sort of back and forth, perhaps even on again, off again. Um, this person friend zoning you initially, and I am getting that. We have, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. So the key word here is ego. That is something we need to be careful of here, Pisces. There needs to be a more, need to be more vulnerable and gentle while approaching the situation. But there may, there may be fears, insecurities here as well, right? No one wants to um, express themselves and be rejected. Um, I definitely understand that, but more so, I'm, more so than the wording, the only word that's really standing out to me was my ego. So that is something I was seeing up here, right? I love you, but I'm afraid what this love might bring. I'm not sure I'm ready. Oh, interesting. I love you. I don't think it's I love you, I love you, but wow, I love you as a person. I had so much fun spending time with you, talking to you, right? I wouldn't mind seeing you again, but there may be some. I'm afraid what this love might bring. This person's bringing some challenges your way for sure. And you are doing well, and this person's... I'm not going to lie, they are bringing a little bit of confusion your way. And it, a lot of this has to do with their internal work right so you may be like oh, i don't do i really want to do this again especially if you've been through similar experiences okay let's look at their energy now we have tears of joy and sadness yeah oh that's their energy when they meet you so i think tears of joy and sadness tears of joy is we had joy here, didn't we? Wow, I just noticed that, the synchronicity. Yeah, this joy, you represent joy. You're the only positive thing in their life when they meet you. Well, it seems that way, right? 
um, perhaps this person's not being grateful for the things they have around them, but I see a lot of struggles, uh, finances and self-worth, right? But yeah, they're sort of being torn, which makes sense, right? With the emperor. I'll get back, I'll get to this because I have this card here, which actually I'll pull it out right now. Yeah. My heart says one thing and my mind says another. I definitely see that with the chariot because that card is known to be, right? It's the div division between your head and your heart. I'm being pulled. Should I go left? Should I go right? So we're being pulled in two different directions. So I definitely see that. They have responsibilities. I don't have the ability to love you right now. I already have too much on my plate. Yeah, they're saying things are heavy for them when they meet you, which is why my heart says one thing, but my mind says another. My heart says with the Queen of Cups, I want to come towards you. I want to give you everything, my heart, my soul. But then Emperor saying, you know, I have all this mess that I need to sort out before before I can completely give my heart to someone. Or, but yeah, the Emperor sort of saying, you know, I need to take care of all these things I have going for me um i have a lot to sort through so you know i need to uh, keep my distance for the time being that is what is going on with tears of joy and sadness i apologize for the sounds pisces we have 11 contract contracts agreement mutually favorable agreement yeah do you see the handshake that's so cute meeting someone too small outgrown your role house job life we have 11 11 coming through which i noticed and also five five fives representing the changes with the wheel of fortune so some of you outgrown your role house job life they may be just feeling very bored stuck uninspired with their circumstances where they're working um so they're maybe thinking about relocating right even in the two of wands he's sort of looking out into the globe right having a decision to make i want some sort of change here so i definitely see that but with the contracts agreement handshake this can also be someone say you're working somewhere and they come in and they're a co-worker that that's also coming through but that will be for maybe five percent because i was seeing um, some gathering here for the majority of you I just have to give you all the scenarios I'm seeing because it is a general reading and even in personal readings, it's sort of difficult to narrow